All right. So once again, it is time to start the GSSR giveaways. Uh, as always, I do NA first. And then once NA is over, I start up the one specifically for JP. Now, if you play on JP, you can still enter this giveaway uh, and I will send you the money uh, so you can buy the GSSR on JP. However, you want to deal with it, whether I buy it for you when it's time or I refill, whatever. Uh, just to be clear. So as I'm recording it, it has not started. This is going to start at uh, at the time of this video is released. That is going to be 3 p.m. on June 2nd. So uh, big uh, big thing to note, starting at 350, uh, I will be adding another uh, winner to the giveaway. And then at, starting at 400, uh, it will go 500, 600. That's when I'll add extra winners. So the closer, like the closer I can get to a thousand, five hundred, whatever, the better. Uh, more people can win. Uh, but at, just as a last thing before I fully go through this, um, if you don't have the, if you, if you don't have money to, like, actually buy GSSRs and you don't think you're gonna win. Uh, I, as a point reward, I give away GSSRs. I haven't really done it because most people don't have enough points for it at this time. Uh, that's just how schedules go for people. But that is a reward in my uh, Twitch chat. If you're there for a long time, I have no problem buying a GSSR. Um, if the points are too high for it, I'll probably I can lower it, but. I stream often enough that people have a chance to like actually get the points and it's not like GSSRs come like every month. It's like twice a year per server. So yeah, I just wanted to say that first. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, so the ways to enter it's visit the YouTube, but it's actually, you have to be subbed. Uh, visiting the YouTube is just like to fill it. Uh, following on Twitch, follow on Twitter, and uh, retweeting the tweet for this are just going to be how you enter. There are, there are no paid entries for this giveaway. And yeah, with that, we can actually get down to 7th anniversary breakdown. Okay, so change of plans from when I did the recording for the giveaway. Uh, I already closed that tab. Uh, the banner, the GSSR actual breakdown was so long. I did not want to force people to watch it when I'm promoting a giveaway for an hour long video. That's just, people aren't gonna click the whole thing. So I'm gonna move uh, the giveaway part for this part of this video where I'm also going through the rest of 7th anniversary. So, yeah, TLDR, uh, I'm pulling on the, this banner because I want a P2 melt and everything else here is a bonus. Uh, there are a lot of good banners. Um, this one would be good for me. I have almost everyone here. This is dead because USO. I uh, want these two, but JP makes it so I can't have this one. And if I summon on this one, I'm just going to get Shisho, blah, blah, blah. Watch the video when it comes out. It's going to be like 40 minutes long or something. So let us go through 7th anniversary because this is one of the, the fans' favorite anniversary just for how much shit actually happens. 7th anniversary on JP was one of the biggest meta shifts. And it like, I say one of, because I think Coin Skya and uh, Castoria definitely changed the meta significantly more. But seventh anniversary made just the base game so much better. You did not need to summon for a specific character to make seventh anniversary feel good. You just need to be able to play the game and that's it. So. 
let's go through the uh 10 great campaigns first one we have a ssr ce ticket and here are the seven ce's you can pick between k-scope black rail or prisma cosmos if you do not have black rail here's your chance to get it for free and not have to worry about the gotcha if you don't have k-scope or you're lacking mlb get k-scope prisma cosmos definitely more niche uh pretty much this is a really really good support ce for tomo and merlin because it just means like they get so much charge per turn like their uptime on their mp just gets so much better um one of tomo's weakness is if she is not art spamming she's not gonna get her mp that well that's why she's kind of balanced around her not needing to get 100 percent mp every uh every cycle she's going for like 75 is it's one of the reasons her art scars are shit and i hope that when they buff her morph it gives her charge return. that that honestly would make tomo so much better her party wide charge like 10 per turn oh my god she's a she's either gonna double stack it or b it's gonna have 100 percent uptime and yeah it's gonna be nice all right all you have to do is clear fuki uh to get it but you have to actually beat fuyuki to use the ticket login bonus this is the standard shit for anniversary nothing really to talk about besides us getting 10 teapots lucky bag again i went through that my tea chains and quick buff quick chains now uh give a 20 percent crit chance to all cards so if you had a 80 chance buster card and every time you try to do a chain it just ne like your reset's coming you never crit now all you have to do is lead with a quick card and that chance is 100 percent do you do you lose first card buster bonus in that case yes in other cases no get to that later if you do a full quick chain 20 stars instead of 10 and yeah like obviously because it's quick our lead you're still gonna get the crit, uh, crit chance up finally mighty chains use one of each card and you get all the lead bonuses increase attack increased star gen incre increased mp gen see right here and you still get the 20 percent chance as well i fucking love mighty chains if you see me play on na and you see me do uh like weird shit with the carding it's because i'm super used to jp i like i live and die by mighty chains it makes so many servants better literally every single solo servant in the game gets buffed because of this argus becomes a fucking monster in terms of refund because now her quick and arts cards actually will do something you will be incentivized to be clicking those and her um her cycles are mp buster buster and then b uh qa or you kind of or you're just spamming mighty chains and ugh, like her Kish kishu wong ku all of them benefit from mighty chains and then i think we already have this in the game this is what everyone hypes up seventh anniversary for this is where people get the stupid amount of sand quartz oh the maximum amount someone can get for this anniversary is like 1100 saint quartz based on the ascension of your character you will get three pure prisms and three saint quartz if it's a gotcha character if it's um if it is a limited like if it's a welfare or you friend point some of it like uh sorry habitrot um artoria lily you'll get a rare person the more characters you have ascended like 
for me on my main i have about 260 max ascended characters so i'm going to be looking at like 700 plus tank quartz and then plus the other tank quartz we get from this um because i think it they give us like straight up give us actual like 200 or something tank word in the dead in addition to this we also get new master missions 30 for clearing up to part six more uh way more for strengthening because like i actually am gonna run into that problem very soon on na where i i have more strengthenings done than are actually gonna give me sync words so this is giving more window for people if they get more characters they're actually going to get reward to doing it and also increase the window for interludes and also free quests so if you didn't get any or 10 from doing trom you probably will get some from like immediately from this and then as further incentive to max ascender units a shit load of lores one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty fucking lures. I have been starved for lures so goddamn long. This is gonna be so helpful for a lot of my five, five stars. But I'm probably not gonna have the Q QP for it, so is what it is. This is pro uh, this is honestly probably one of the most slept on part for this anniversary. Uh, do your dailies and you will get uh, a mat ticket. Like the daily logins, you will, so you go from getting one a day to four. And eventually they're also gonna change it so the daily login or these tickets have five mats instead of only three. Uh, any mat requirements that you have are going to start getting solved for the bronze and silver mats. They don't put gold in here, unfortunately, but your bronze and silvers, a lot of them are gonna be taken care of because of this. Just don't, don't get in the habit of you log into FGO and then you don't do shit. Like you have to act actively still be playing again. Don't just make blue apples. Oh, right. Okay. So this changes the pattern for training grounds. Uh, XP, you're going to have a lot of them more often. It's not. Uh, all of them are going to be unlocked on the weekends. And yeah. They just com compress it so people are able to actually farm more and play the game more. Three times success rate. If you have any CEs, XP CEs in your uh, second archive that you've been saving for a campaign, this is when you're going to use it. Uh, I would not say friend point summon during this event. I say hoard it uh, for when you need for braille casting and when there is like a free servant in the in the friend point pool but that's not going to really be till next uh christmas like around then so friend point summon if you need the coins for grail casting otherwise i would not do it now just wait wait for when there's like actual xpcs in the friend point uh expansion for like inventory this is nice stuff uh i always try to buy these first before buying anything else uh just because if you can store more shit, uh that means like it takes longer before you fill up and you can just do, keep doing more shit. and then these uh buffs Back in the day, I, like a lot of these were just like good buffs that I feel needed to happen. Uh, but there weren't any like, oh, this like completely changes the servant. I don't know. All, all of these were just like really good buffs that just made these servants better. 
And we are almost done. Uh, Arcwood comes out. FAP. Um, for all main quests permanently. Workshop. Make sure to try and buy these. Buy these if you can. A bunch of costumes come in. Oh, right. Non-friend uh, MPs can now be used. If someone is not on your friends list, uh, but they have like a really built Castoria, but you can't use their MP, now you now you can just use the MPs of your friends. So a pen skills like uh, second append actually will matter. Um, even if that character isn't, yeah. It, it's just so for farming, people don't have to... Like, if your character needs a Castori MP and now you can't MP with Castori because it's not on your friends list, it's always that issue. Oh, and also, if you needed to pull like a DPS, like you were looking to show off like an MP5 Dante's, but the guy wasn't on your friends list and there's no way the guy is going to add you on his friends list, now you could actually use that uh, character. Like, really, for th really, this is a change for DPSs. So that they're not held back. It's no like Castoria is it's it's whatever, but like most people don't even pop Castoria MPs. So like in farming. In farming, I mean. Uh yeah, this is a little thing, but all interlude quests, uh you can choose like the NPC from your party or from the uh like from the interlude itself this is so that your character will get bond points and it, you're not stuck using like a garbage NPC character that is like level 60 or some shit like you're actually able to use your own Uh, a lot of this stuff is, I think, actually already in the game. Uh, I'm not too sure about that interlude thing. That I, that too might already be in the game. Um, Arquid and Shufu. I'm probably summoning on this banner just to get Shufu. Uh, and not wait for her in the friend point pool. Uh, new 2030. Damn, uh, one of the damn black horses goes. Uh, these are the banners. Murasaki gets her MP buff, so... She's going to be really good. Uh, and you can also get Shufu from these banners as well. And... Yeah, limited missions. And that is it. All right. Uh, I need to get this ready. I'm going to be editing this on stream today. Uh, I need to start. Otherwise, I lose uh, login shit. Um, all right. I will see you guys later. Peace. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.